So there's a new browser gaining popularity called Arc. It's made by a company called The Browser Company and it was originally made for Apple devices, specifically macOS and iOS with a waitlist for Windows. Let's see what the hype is all about. Okay, there it is. Ooh, music. Okay. I mean, first impressions are pretty unique for sure. Meet the internet again. What? It's just a browser, bro. Chill. Create an account. Oh. Come on, really? Fine, let's just do it. Okay, I can import my bookmarks and things. Pretty standard. I like the UI though so far. Let's do it from Brave. I'll import all my bookmarks like the Rickroll shortcut and everything. You know, important stuff. Welcome to Arc. This is your Arc card? What? What is this? They created some sort of a business card or something. Everyone's vibrant charmer. What? <laughs> Anyway, here's the browser itself. Let's see what we got. Oh cool, if you press Ctrl T to create a new tab, it'll give you this kind of search window where you can enter the URL or switch between tabs directly. Okay, that's cool. Control tab still works. You can still switch between your previous two used tabs. That's how it should be Chrome, not sequential. I don't know why Chrome does that weird thing. I also saw that you can drag and drop tabs up there to pin them in that location. That's nice. So they'll always stay up there so you can easily access them. Yeah, this kind of tab arrangement may be better to manage especially when you have a lot of them open i see a plus icon over there let's click on it okay i can create a new space and a folder a space is pretty much a dedicated workspace where you can open a bunch of tabs and keep them separate pretty self-explanatory you know so you can have one for study like this or one for work one for homework and the browser speed itself is also pretty good i'm not noticing any difference between this chrome or brave browser speed is no longer a relevant factor isn't it we all have fast internet and i like that when you have a youtube video playing in one of these spaces if you switch to another space it opens it in a you know picture in picture pop-up window that's nice it does that automatically pretty cool i do notice that the mac os version has a few more features like a new new easel, a new note and something. I guess we don't have that yet because it's a beta version. Or we can even have split windows. If I search for add left split or right split, we can open a new tab there. The resizing isn't exactly working the way I expected. Like I'm trying to resize the other window, but oh well. It works fine with two. Let's add one more. Okay, there we go. Three. And yeah, you can kind of see what's happening here. It's not resizing the second window properly. Like it's doing something weird. I mean, this is kind of what a beta version would look like. I'm sure the experience on macOS side is better because they have the final one. And I don't think I can swap these arrangements either. How many can I open though? I have opened four. Can I do more? Oh no, okay. It blocks me and says you can't add any more. That's fine. I mean, four side by side windows is plenty. I don't think you can realistically do any more multitasking after that. Okay, a faster way to switch tabs and multiple windows. I've actually seen this in some other browser before. Uh, I can't remember, but I've definitely seen this exact concept somewhere. I'll leave the name here if I find it, but I've even made a video on it. So even though this isn't exactly groundbreaking or new, at least it's free. So there's no harm in trying it out. The shortcuts seem pretty much the same. Control Shift C will copy the current tab address. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Control L will change. No, no, no. I don't take any L's, so I'm not going to use that. If I see something I don't like, I just press Control W because I only take W's. Huh? And you can see there are tons more keyboard shortcuts to switch between spacers and all that. And you can see the animations are fairly fluid, right? It's pretty good. And I noticed that it clubs the side-by-side -side windows together like that split screen we saw. So you can move it together like that. That's nice. What's the RAM consumption like? Let's see. Okay, it's not super low, but 1.3 GB is not too bad. I have Brave browser running side-by-side, -side, but this thing is taking more RAM despite not having as many tabs open. So that's something to keep in mind. But I think you get the idea. It's a pretty cool cool concept of a browser and it's free anyway so you can join the waitlist if you're on windows and if you're on mac os you can download it straight away yeah check it out let me know what you think